Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In first session of my training video, I had covered the training till font. To watch the first session of my training video, I have left the link in the description box below. Or you can click on cards above to access it. Now let's start my second session of training from next topic that is alignment. Let's move on to alignment session now. So let me clear all the stuff here. Yeah. So in the alignment session, we have a lot of options here. Uh, before I go ahead and explain on all these features here, uh, let me type. You saw what I did here. Now, initially, it was in uh, standard uh, column width. If I double click, it will automatically adjust to the text length. So, you can do it, or if you want to extend it, you can do whatever you want. So, let me increase the font size so that it will be easy for you to see. Yep. So, right now, the font is in the bottom alignment, and uh, font is being aligned from the left. So if you think that if you want it from the top alignment, you can click on top here. The alignment would be in the top. See, I can show you an example. It was in bottom earlier. If I click on the top, it will go to the top. If you want it to be in the middle, you can have it in the middle. Right now it is in the alignment to the left. If you want it in the middle, you can bring it to the middle or if you want it to be in the right side you can bring it to the right so you can play around with these options the next thing is orientation of the font so if you want to change the orientation of this particular font you can go ahead and do it by using this option you can change the angles counterclockwise let me increase the size. Yeah. Counterclockwise, clockwise, vertical text. Text up, text down. So there are a lot of options. If you want to bring down this font angle to normal. All you have to do is click on this drop down and select format cell alignment here all you have to do is pull this up and bring it to middle so you have to change it to zero degrees you can do it either you can do it here using this option or you can make this as zero here and click ok that will bring your font back to original angle the next option is wrap text Right now you can see this text is inside cell D4. Cell D is the column, 4 is the row. So it is in the cell D4. You can see this particular text is extending till column F. If you want to wrap it and want to see everything in the same cell, all you have to do is click on wrap text. So that will bring the data in the same cell and you can see everything inside it so if you don't want to wrap it you can go back and click on that so as i explained earlier this particular text is extending till column f now if you want to merge it you can go ahead and merge it you can merge all the cells d4 e4 and f4 you can merge all the three right now these cells are separate you can see here you can see this these cells are separate. Now we can merge all the three into one by clicking on merge and center. See, it's very simple. You have merged all the three cells and your text is in center now. If you want to unmerge this again, all you have to do is just click back on this option. Next option we have in the home tab is number. So let me go back and remove the data here. 
let me key in some numbers inside this cell. And I'll increase the font so you people can see what is there in it. Okay. Next in this number session, we have a lot of options here. One is general right now. Uh, you know, the cell format is in general. As soon as you key in some number or uh, you key in some date, for example, I'll show you January 1st, 1st Feb 2020. See, it will automatically change that data into date format. You can see here. It is changing that data into date format so if the cell is in general format and you know, whatever you key in there it will automatically detect it and uh, it will change the format accordingly so right now let the cell be in the general and I can show you what all the different options we have so we can change it to numbers where we'll get the decimals numbers currency we don't have an option called currency here think that you want 5000 rupees all you have to do is go here click on currency you can see we got our India's uh, currency symbol rupee symbol and everything got changed after using currency the same way um, accounting short date long date Long date is nothing but I'll show you one more example. 30th number 2020. Now this is in short date format. So if you want it in long date, all you have to do is click on that option and it will change it to long date. 30th number 2020. So that is what the difference between short and long date and time uh, again. Uh, if you want some time format you will get that after entering the data if you click on time format uh, that will change to time and uh, percentage is nothing but you'll get a percentage there um, fraction scientific these are all advanced level of options the next option is text think that you don't want any sort of formatting like this number formatting general formatting uh, or currency formatting uh, counting or any sort of formatting you don't want any sort of formatting inside the cell then all you can do is select text format now what does uh, this cell think that the data inside this is just a text it is not recognizing it number or whether it's a currency or it's a date or it's a percentage it is not recognizing all those things it is just thinking that there is some data inside it which is in text format so that is the reason you can go ahead and select this text anytime whenever you want so there won't be any sort of formatting inside this and we do have a shortcut here for all those stuff whatever I showed you here the shortcut is here currency if you want to change currency you can go ahead and do that like if you want to add dollars you can select dollars uh, if you want to add Indian rupee you can do that euro and all those stuff so I showed you here up on the currency stuff the shortcut is here and also percentage and the comma style whatever comma style you want um, in India we uh, put comma for every two numbers uh, between every two numbers where in US they put comma between every three numbers so uh, you can make use of this and uh, this option is to increase the decimal and this option is to decrease the decimal let me show you how it works so if I click on this it will add one decimal two decimal three four and if you keep clicking on that it will keep adding the decimals to it and if you want to remove the decimals you can do that by clicking on this the next option is conditional formatting it's very simple conditional formatting uh, there are a lot of uh, different types of format this is um, for advanced uh, Excel users even uh, once you get used to Excel uh, it will be easy for you to play around with this uh, conditional formatting so right now I uh, 
I will go ahead with the next option. Uh, I'll cover all the advanced options in my future videos because right now I'm um, starting from the scratch. So let me continue with the scratch level training. And th this is a, a simple one. Uh, no need to wait till advanced. All you have to do is uh, now select your cells. And if you want to format your cell like this, you can do it. See how thing will change. See, can you see that? If you want to change the color combination, you can do it by selecting any of this. This option is just uh, to make your data look good. So if you want, you can make use of that. Again, the next option is let me type text here and I increase the font size so that you can see. Yeah. So the next option here is styles. It's already predefined. Uh, whichever you want, you can go ahead and select it. Uh, rather than you uh, go ahead and uh, selecting manually in the Microsoft Excel, they have already predefined certain things. You can go ahead and uh, select those stuff if you like them. So you can see here as I go over them, as I go over the option, you know, things are changing in the cell. So, like that, whichever you want, you can go ahead and select. That's all I have for the session. Thank you so much for your patience and your time. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe and click on that bell icon. Once again, thank you so much. See you in the next video.